Welcome to RAH RF 201, RF Design Theory and Principles course, where you will learn the fundamental topics needed on a way of becoming a radio frequency design engineer and landing a job in companies like Apple, SpaceX, Qualcomm, and Broadcom, and designing ICs going inside phones and laptops or systems going into satellite and planes. My name is Atasar Rafinejad and with my colleague and course advisor Asan Goncha I would be leading you through this course. I began my career as a research assistant during my PhD studies. Later on I moved from academia to industry as an RF and analog design engineer designing power amplifiers and low noise amplifier ICs. My course advisor Asan Goncha has more than 5 years RF design and test experience in the industry working at top semiconductor companies such as Broadcom and Qualcomm designing RF filter and bringing up of modules going to lasses phones, laptops and other consumer electronics. The ideal student for this course is an electrical engineer, computer science student planning to become an expert in RF and land a job in the RF field or engineers and employees of the communication and radio frequency related companies who want to boost up or refresh their knowledge on the topics. In this course you are going to learn about the most important and necessary RF fundamental topics. We are going to start with the power in AC circuits, we are going to explain about different topics like average power, complex power, maximum power and the power transfer in RF systems and mesh circuits. Later on, we are going to explain a, a brief theory of mass transistor and we are going to have examples on DC AC analysis. We are going to explain about the nonlinearity in RF circuits, which is one of the most important topics. We are going to talk about IP3, gain compression, distortion, different examples. Later on, we are going to talk about the noise, the noise PSD, input referred noise, noise figure, how you are going to find the calculated. And then after that, we are going to the sensitivity and dynamic range in RF systems. We are going to talk about these two definitions. Uh, we are going to explain with some examples. And the, the last topic is RLC passive circuits. We are going to talk about the different um, talk about the different um, uh, circuits with passive elements like uh, RLC, the series and parallel circuits about the quality factor and different kind of things.